Okay, so I got the PS5, we got our Phillips screwdriver, and we have our M2. So this is a disc PS5, as you can see, disc right here. Uh, to get the cover off, we're just gonna go adjacent from the disc drive, so over to this corner, just pull up, and then just slide the cover down, and it should come off pretty easy. Put that aside, we have our M2 slot right here with a screw, so we'll go ahead and pull that screw. And once we do pull the screw, we'll just pull it out and this uh, little plate should just come up as well. Now from here, this is where our M2 will fit in. As you can see at the very top here, we have our mountain screw with the spacer. So we'll go ahead and pull that out. Okay, and once we do get it out, We'll make sure we grab the spacer as well. As you can see, it's only a little spacer. What it does is the M2 lays on top of it and it keeps flow at the bottom, just so it's not laying up against the uh, the board here. Um, so we'll lay that aside. Lay the screwdriver down. We'll open up our M2 right here. Just go ahead and peel that back. Open it up, pull it out. Okay, and at the bottom there is the instructions but we're just focused on the, the M2 itself. So you can see the, the heat sink is there as well. It's a very small board, but uh, the spacer will go here. It'll just keep flow and it won't leave this laying on the bottom because this does get fairly hot. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab our spacer. We'll just line it up so we can see it's gonna line up to the 80 mark here. So we'll go ahead and lay our spacer in there. And we'll go ahead and just put our card in. You just want to firmly press down on it so it snaps in and as you can see just like so grab our screw and we'll go ahead and screw that in so we'll lay it down screw in okay perfect not too tight but it will definitely stay there Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our cover back on. And that simply has a little groove right here at the bottom. And that just slides in the top up here and pushes down. Grab our screw again and our screwdriver. Go ahead and put it back on. And we'll screw it in. Okay, perfect. We're gonna lay this aside as we won't need it. Grab our cover. Same thing with the cover. You're just gonna lay it down and it'll fit in and then we're just going to go ahead and push up on it until we hear that click and we know it's secure once that's done we'll go ahead and get this plugged in and we'll see what it looks like on the ps5 okay so once the ps5 does turn on you are presented with two options here um, one of them is to format the ssd i know this is a new ssd so i know i can go ahead and format it with no issues um, but I believe the, op the other option here is uh, if you're having issues reading the data on the SSD, you can go ahead and just don't format it and turn off the PS5. Go ahead and check to make sure it's fully plugged in, and then you can go ahead and boot it back up. Um, but like always, if you do have stuff on it, just make sure you don't hit the format SSD uh, because you will lose it all. So let's go ahead and format our SSD. Okay, looks like it's going pretty fast. It's two terabytes. Um, I can't see it being very long. Great. Uh, our read speed, 6529.136 megabytes. Okay, so we'll go ahead and hit OK. And it is formatted. So we can go into our settings, storage, and uh, installation location. So let's go ahead and hit OK on that. Okay, rebuilding database. Okay, and once we do get booted in here, jump up to our settings, come down to our storage. So we have our console storage there being uh, 667 gigabytes, and then our M2 SSD, which is 2.01 terabytes. Okay, so let's go ahead and just copy over a game here, uh, just to see if we can get it. Uh, I do have Minecraft here. Um, Minecraft's pretty small. Let's go with a little bigger game than Minecraft. We'll go with our GTA here. 
PS5 game. Uh, select the item to move. And we'll go ahead and move it. Okay, your item you've selected will be moved to the M2 SSD storage. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Okay, so this is the first time. I'm not sure how quick it'll be. If that is how quick it's going, that is fairly quick. I'm pretty impressed. It was 22 gigabytes, so um, yeah, you're moving, moving games pretty quick over there. Okay, I guess it's moved over. So let's back out of there. Uh, we'll go into our external storage. Okay, and we do have games and apps. Go ahead and select it. We can see our game is there. Let's go ahead and just back completely out. And we'll see if we can launch that game from the SSD. And yes, we can. So that's basically it for the video, guys. I just want to jump on, show you how easy it is to install. It's definitely a lot easier than the uh, PS4 was. PS4 was pretty simple too, but uh, yeah, I'll leave the video at that. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.